Good evening, everybody. This is Frankie, actually. I'm Oliver. Um, this talk is about full more kick drive and cute quick in industry automation. We will explain a bit about what we do, how we do it, and how our customers in the end decide to change it. Now, our, our job basically is to teach machines how to move. Like this is a typical part of a machine. I stole it from one. And it's uh, a so-called DC brushless um, servo drive. That's this one here on this end. Like it's a motor with integrated motor and motion control. Um, it's here already mounted, physically mounted, not the drive, um, to a belt axis, which makes in the end this slide move from the left to the right. It has also a CAN bus interface. CAN bus is something you will find in cars or automotive in general, but it's also used for industry automation and it usually talks to a dedicated industrial PC. But this specific drive has also a built-in Python interpreter, pretty much the Python that we saw yesterday if somebody was attending the Squish classes. So it can run Python and then the Python becomes the master program and tells the drive how to move and when. This is like perfect for many simplistic standalone automations, uh, standalone applications, like say an automatic door. So great. Now we have Python inside this drive. Uh, now comes the problem. Our customers didn't understand that this is actually what they would want and this is what they would need. They think or they hear programmable and they think it's complicated and they hear Python and it's even worse. They rather think it's about dangerous snakes. Like, I don't know if you can see that. If, if you ever try to Google, Google uh, Python can open, this is what you end up with, include the WTF. <laughs> and this is not what we wanted. We wanted that our customers would rather feel like this. Now, here's a user, inter, uh, here's a user experience. That's actually my son, this, this little user here. The other one's just a random dinosaur. So here is exactly where Qt Quick comes in. Um, what we do with Fulmo Kick Drive is a sort of simplistic separation of layers. Uh, on the inside, we package all of the complicated parts. We put in the signals and slots communication, uh, the protocols for automation, all of the uh, scary stuff, uh, the complicated stuff is put inside. Then on the outside, we have this nice QML scene interface, which I will show you. And this is what the user will actually see. Now, um, with this, we get an interface that is very sleek, uh, nice looking. Uh, we also put away all the complicated parts so that the user don't see them. And you actually feel that you can play with it, um, as Oliver will demonstrate. So like, uh, this is what we then do. Literally, even today, we're right now with such equipment on the MoTeC trade show in, in uh, Stuttgart. I just do some basic finger painting. Like this is uh, telling the drive, um, where where to find the mechanical board and then I just do some random positioning. Uh, yeah, let's do this one, maybe this one. Doesn't really matter. Click something together. Wait, that's duplicate. It's not really supposed to be sophisticated. And then this is compiled into a Python script and the Python gets downloaded into the drive uh, via this, this canvas interface and then in the end the drive starts moving once it's finished. And you see, probably, I don't know, probably not everybody can see it, but it's really moving. What I can do now, I can really disconnect this from the bus. I have to watch my fingers a bit, but you can see this is really a standalone or even walk-alone system which I can run without any field bus integration. So uh, this is pretty cool, uh, first of all. <laughs> um, what we see on the screen is basically a QML scene that is provided to the user, and it's really open to the user. So that means that the user uh, not only gets an interface that we designed for him, uh, but he also can change it. He can modify it, hack it, touch it, and tweak it in any way they want, and become a sort of co-developer uh, in the process. Well. I could show you exactly how it works. If I thank you for the touch. Yes. OK. So I could show you how these different parts talk to each other, but that would take uh, a lot of time from our presentation, and it wouldn't be so interesting even. So we decided to quote uh, Roxette. Um, 
What we are doing behind the scenes is uh, rather simple. We have a series of modules which are queue objects, and the different modules have the different functionality, like the module to display the QML scene that we've seen before, or the module for the can open communication. All of these modules communicate with each other via simplistic text messages. And I mean, the good thing, the good thing that we have this C++ layer, and sometimes people complain, why do I still need the C++ for us? It's great because we can like file away all these third party DLLs or in automation, you sometimes use stuff that you don't really want to touch with a stick. Like anyone ever tried the Microsoft, uh, the, not Microsoft, microchip pick samples for PC, bootloader code, there's MFC samples, that's all you get. And having C++, we can at least like, f I don't know, file it away in a DLL and somehow interface with it and don't really be concerned about it. So let's take a little look inside the application itself. This is the look inside the Fumo Kick Drive. Again, we see the same project, only this time this is, let's say, a developer view. Uh, the touching is in there. Yeah, I just touch it. So um, I just sent in an empty script. And what I see on the screen is just some of the modules really communicating with each other. In this environment, I would be able to tweak different uh, parts of the application, configure it, and really touch it so I can package a final project uh, for the user. So yeah, by the way, here, that's like, like on the left side, you see the hardcore C++ modules working and all that. <laughs> and by the way, if anyone, sorry for interrupting, if anyone needs something like that, this is really up for sale, like, like that is snatched off uh, one of the display models, so you can have it for special offer, thousand euro if you want to take it home to build something on your own, credit card, cash, anything possible, just talk to me. And now for something completely different. Um, so here's another application also built with Fumo Kick Drive. On the surface, we see something that looks very different. We have here three-dimensional space, uh, free drives, free access. Uh, they're communicating with the TCP IP protocol. So this is not even can open. But in fact, behind the scenes, OK, yeah, Oli will even con control it a little with this fancy 3D uh, mouse. But inside, in fact, it's the similar forces at work. Again, we have the QML scene, which is very nice and very uh, fancy for the user. And on the inside, the different modules, like the module for control of the mouse or the communication modules, all of them at work behind the scenes. Um, here we can even take a look at the QML, which the user would get. And you will see that this is really a standard QML application, like any other, uh, with the different parts that the user could touch and started even for debugging. And this is even a tri this really true story that was a real project, real application. So I was commissioning this at the customer's facilities. Everything was up and running, like the axis moving. And then the customer said, this is very nice. But as you can see, this is a lab what we have here. So all the next week, we start to change the dimensions, different parameters. I will send you an email. And you just, you know, change the project for me so I can work. And I told him, no, 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 you do it on your own. Look, here, here's the stuff. And he said, whoa, whoa, I'm not the programmer. I'm just the chemical engineer. <laughs> and I told him, it's not a problem. Like, we open it. And we literally took a text editor, opened that files, told him, look, here is your button that you were talking about. Just copy it, paste it. And you know what? This ID thing, you have to make sure it's, it's unique. That's all you have to take care of. And you see now, here's your... 40 millimeters, change it to 60. Worst case, if it doesn't work anymore, go back to the original thing. And by the end of the day, that person, that guy was really sure that he could do all the modifications that he would need on his own. And in fact, true story, didn't get back once to me to ask for any modification. So for these kind of scenarios for uh, rapid prototyping or for this kind of client uh, with changing needs, uh, the, the solution of Fumo Kick Drive we provided would be the ideal solution. And that is only possible because of the integration of Qt Quick with Qt and C++. Wouldn't you agree, Oliver? Totally. I think it totally rocks. I think so too. So, yeah. And I think it's time to cast your vote. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.